Hello and welcome back to another Swole Osmo video. Today we're going to be discussing why your man coverage isn't working and you might find other people's man coverage just absolutely dominating you. Now to preface everything about this video, if you're looking for the best man coverage corners, I definitely recommend you check out my previous video about why your receivers can't beat man. In essence or in summary, the best way I could explain that to you is you need corners with not only high man coverage, but also high agility and high press and even maybe some smaller corners. But generally, I might avoid smaller corners for the simple reason that they get egg. But in general, you want high press to press receivers if you're going to be running press defenses, which I highly recommend. I find it helps you blitz better. And more importantly, you also need high man coverage and agility. A lot of people don't pay attention to agility, but it's actually the average of agility and man coverage versus a receiver's route running and agility that determines who wins on the break. Now enough about ratings, let's talk about what you could do in game. In essence, this video is going to go over the best way to shade and set up your defenses to make sure you're running man coverage at the optimal rate or running it in the optimal way. Now let's begin. So we're going to come out in gun bunch, which is the play that everybody or the formation that everyone runs. And we're going to come out in nickel 3-3. And yes, I know the nickel 3-3 LB blitz has been technically patched but generally i wouldn't say it was actually patched i'd say more along the lines of it was nerfed to some degree it's still a very runnable defense and it's what i'm going to be using to showcase what good man coverage looks like especially when you run man coverage you do want a blitz that kind of builds upon your man coverage you can't just depend on man coverage in general you do also want some heat because man coverage will eventually falter if there are route bounces now so i'm going to call Speed Dig. Now Speed Dig is one of the best man beaters in the game and I'm going to show you why it is and more importantly how to stop these man beating plays that some novice and even upper level players will run on you and the concepts that you're going to use. So everyone knows the setup for LB Blitz Zero. You just press and you pinch your linebackers. This is the basic way that a lot of people run their defenses. It makes a lot of sense. You have everyone manned up. It doesn't, you don't really shade. It makes sense. However, it's not the best way to run the defenses any longer. If you really want to make a difference and run elite man coverage, you can't leave your defense unshaded. So let's begin with that. The first thing I want you to do is shade outside. Now, why shade outside? You're going to think, okay, they could just throw it to the inside. Well, that's exactly what you want them to do. Your user is on the inside and it's much more difficult to make tight window throws on the inside of the field than consistently throwing outside. If your opponent has to throw a drag or a post, every single time it just increases the chance that you're going to get an interception so when you shade outside not only are you increasing the chance of your user covering it but it's something you don't have to worry about so i'll give you an example if i were to shade inside for right so i'm going to shade inside you'll notice on the solo side he shaded inside then something like a corner route i'm going to call do i have a corner out saints fork here we are this is a corner route. so you see tyler lockett here now if i were to shade inside especially in this case where the safety's on him, this would just cook the safety. It would go straight to the outside, leaving for a wide open dot, right? You keep that in mind. How is your user supposed to cover that corner road? A lot of people will shade inside like, oh, I'm gonna cover that post. In reality, your user should be covering that post. It should not be anyone other than your user or possibly a mid third or a mid read. You can put hook zones on the field, but generally you just want the outside of the field to be covered by man. You can deal and control what's coming into the inside. You can't control what's going on the outside. That's why really good players will motion C routes because they're going to the outside and they do okay against shaded outside man. So in general, I explained we just shade outside, don't shade underneath, don't shade inside, don't shade over top. Don't combine any of those outside and underneath and try to think it'll work. Shading outside is the best possible way to run man coverage. It's the way the pros run it. It's the way elite level players are currently running man. So make sure you're shading outside. The next thing I recommend is not blitzing every single time. Although the loop blitz, for example, is really good. You do want to mix in some coverage. So a way that you can mix in coverage here is by shading outside and actually curl flatting both of these guys here. Or some elite man, I'll show this guy here. I don't run this defense too much, but I do run a lot of mana some other defenses. So we have the two curl flats here and here. Now I would recommend running them between 10 and 15 because that's where most short corners run. So like I'll give you an example, like the 
bunch trail corner it's usually pretty short but that'll if it does get beat which i doubt it will because you're shading outside the curl flat will actually play interior enough and towards the quarterback and pick it off i'll see if i can showcase it with like a with an out route so i'm gonna run an out route right here and just kind of showcase how the curl flat will play if let's say this guy gets beat You'll notice that the curl flat sits in a pretty decent spot and if they have to throw it outside of the curl flat that means they're throwing it late and it allows your corner to recover so that's the best way you have to be shading outside and you have to also mix in coverage and curl flats the other thing that i want to mention to you is be very cautious of the running back if you're constantly blitzing and you have the running back manned up from let's say your safety here they can throw it really quick so i do recommend possibly running something like a hard flat on the running back side if you're not going to blitz or play a little bit of coverage and that also allows you to do something like that so now not only are you covered deep but you're also covering the running back and short drags coming from one side of the field to the other so at this point you're only responsible for like the the absolute middle and interior of the field between like the hash marks the rest man coverage will recover and play really well for you so shading outside is super important. And as I mentioned in my previous video, you do wanna have the right people out there statistically, good release or good press, good agility, good man coverage, and obviously some pretty good speed. But in essence, that's the best way to run this defense. It's not too long. Luckily, I used to say when man coverage is good, the game isn't good. And that's because it's so simple to run. It's more of a knowledge gap more than anything. You just need to know where to shade and your defense is running really good. And that's pretty much it. That concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to make your opponents suffer with man coverage. If you enjoyed, leave a like, sub for more. I'll be posting more tip videos to really keep you on your game and make sure that you are playing at your optimal level and not suffering from a knowledge gap between you and your opponent. Have a great day.